Hey there, it's Doug Coy for SoWhatDoYouThink.com, and I'm recording from my loft here in Gastown in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. It's going to be a very nice day today. So I was working out this morning, and uh, you know, usually when I'm in the pool or the hot tub or something like that, yeah, working out in the hot tub, uh, I usually come up with some ideas, and sometimes they're a little weird. Today was one of those days. I was thinking about television. In television, the saying is, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, I think they should add another extension to that. If it's not broke, copy it over and over and over again. Now, let me explain. I was really excited when American Idol first hit the airways. It, uh, it was a, a mega hit, no doubt about it. So now we have America's Got Talent. We have a show called Duet. Did you see that the other night? <laughs> Oh, a lot of glitter, but oh, man. Uh, the Voice, and I'm sure I'm leaving, you know, The Voice was very popular this year. Uh, it gave American Idol a run for its money. And I'm sure I'm leaving out a few other shows that are spinoffs. Uh, I also love the show Pawn Stars, and they also have now a spinoff to that called Cajun Pawn Stars. It's not bad. Uh, the same is true for Storage Wars. I think they have a thing called Texas Storage Wars. I've never seen it, but I think it's called that. Um, the crime show CSI. I mean, how many are CSIs are? CSI Miami, CSI New York, CSI LA. I, you know, it just goes on and on. And uh, so you get my drift. If you can't create a new show, uh, hey, take a show that's popular and just remake it. You know, just do it over and over again. So I have a few ideas. You know, Dog the Bounty Hunter has been one of my favorite shows for a long time. They could have a spinoff called Cat, the Runaway Chaser. It features a woman named Cat who hunts down runaway kids. Hey, that could be a hit. Uh, Billy the Exterminator, have you ever seen that one? The guy going around exterminating pests that are in people's homes. Well, I could have a spinoff called Tank and the Septic. Uh, a large man named Tank who deals with people and their septic tank problems. The byline could be Tank and the septic unplugged. The Hour of Power. Now, have you seen that with Robert Schuller? It's been around for a long time. It's a religious show from Crystal Cathedral. Very positive message. They could have a spinoff. Instead of The Hour of Power, they could have a show called The Minute of Fear. It's broadcast from a church, say, in you know downtown L.A., uh, in the, in, you know, from a church in the slums of L.A. The message is usually about survival, not abundant living. Hey, there's going to be a demographic for that. Uh, the Fear Factor, popular show, could have a great spinoff called The Fear Motivator. Ah, now this is a good idea. You know, somebody's going to pick this up and, and do this. It follows, say, six commuters from different parts of the world who have to try to make it to work each day. You know, talking about Beijing, Sydney, New York, Los Angeles, and perhaps Tokyo. Now, I would watch that show. And, yeah, great name, uh, The Fear Motivator. So, just for fun, I would love to hear your ideas. So, send them in. You know, well, send them in. I mean, put them in the comment section below. If you're watching this on YouTube, put it on the comment, sec comment section there. Let's come up with some really good ideas. Who knows? Maybe... Uh, Maybe we'll see one of your shows on television one of these days. It couldn't be any worse than what we're seeing right now. So, hey, put your comments in. Let's have some fun with this. Have a great day. This is Doug Coy. God bless.